have three films that we screen today. Starting with a newsweek from the Indian News Review from the early 50s. And it's something that we've been studying over a period of time. Did I say 50s? 50s. Uh, studying the newsreel as a record kept by the state of the history of the nation. So we pick them up according to you know whatever else is going is programmed for the week. We have one from the early 50s, which is centered around flood relief operations. And uh, as a filmmaker, it's very interesting for me to look at just how it's done, the kind of voiceover that's written, the kind of sound design that's done, how the film is put together in the short duration of eight minutes, everything that you've taken through. Uh, followed by, again, one of my absolutely favorite films, Amir Khan, on the classical musician, made by SNS Shastri. An 18-minute film, which is a very, very important study of just what is possible with the non-fiction form. Because for most people, the idea of a documentary is of a particular kind of film. And this just completely upturns that and exposes you to something which is way, way, way more uh, innovative. And uh, yeah, I don't want to speak too much about it, we'll see it. Followed by Sushil Kurian's film Finding Carlton on Carlton Kiddo, the jazz musician in Calcutta. And uh, we're honored we have uh, Sushil and the entire crew here of the film. Um, so that's going to screen um, third. So yeah, we'll keep introducing each film as we come to it. So we'll start with Indian News Review number 310. And um, then, yeah, I keep talking to people, so we could all meet after that. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm very honored, though, before we start, to have Mukul here, who is uh, absolutely responsible for this film, along with everybody else except for myself, Rikhav Desai, who's here, Suti Vishweshwaran, who is hiding somewhere, and uh, Suresh Rajamani on sound. And in addition to that, People without whom this film would not have happened. Uh, Deepak Mehta and Sujata who are sitting somewhere. Somewhere, I don't know. There they are. Thank you, Deepak. And Naresh Fernandez, the one and only Mr. Jazz of Bombay, whose help and uh, graciousness were absolutely uh, instrumental in this film coming about. Thank you. And his knowledge, of course. Thank you. This is my dad's band. I have heard no recording of it. But I do re I do remember listening to these rehearsals. Oh my god. Where did you get that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Every Monday night was dance night on All Day Radio and a band would come and play every Monday night. Everybody heard some, some jazz in some form, movies or somewhere, records were being issued here at the house and a lot of jazz records. Those to whom English was their main language were educated in English schools, whose fathers were and grandfathers were, came from that segment of society. English music, i.e. Western music, was the music. There were famous film directors would craft a melody. Then they needed a girl musician to sit down and write the arrangements <laughs> for 50 violins and 10 trumpets and heaven knows what else. They didn't know how to do that. <laughs> 